Hey, it's JJ. Hope you're having a great Monday. Normally, I would be doing this blog on a Sunday night, but because of the Super Bowl, hey, you know, I got home late. All I can say, it was a great party with great friends. Good food. I like the commercials, like the game. <clears throat> and also playing boxes. Well, I won't discuss it, but if you did play boxes, hopefully it was profitable for you. Now, I'm going to use one of my old iPhones to show you a couple of pictures for today's blog. I'm going to show you the first one right here. I'm going to focus in a little bit. Picture from, I would say, the 30s or 40s. I can't tell you exactly when. But uh, if you're a fan of comedy, you know who this guy is right here. It's a very young Red Fox. The inspiration for a whole lot of comedians like Eddie Murphy, also Chris Rock, Richard Pryor, what have you. Now I'm going to show you this picture again because I want you to take a look at this lady. Beautiful, right? Absolutely stunning. Great smile and all that. I'll tell you, that's a childhood friend of Red Fox. Matter of fact, he got her into the show, into the showbiz. And she was part of the Chitlin Circuit, which was the predominantly black entertainment circuit back in the 30s and 40s. Well, I'll tell you, little do you know that these two right here, you ready for this? Those two ended up actually being these two. Yep. Red Fox's childhood friend is LaWanda Page, a.k.a. Aunt Esther. You want to know about loyalty? Well, here's the thing about loyalty. When Sanford and Son first started, NBC wanted to fire her because she didn't have any acting experience. Red Fox says, you fire LaWanda, I quit. The rest is TV history. Can you imagine anybody else playing this, saying, watch it, sucker, to a heathen by the name of Fred Sanford? Honestly, the answer is no. And thank goodness that Red Fox stuck to his guns and was loyal to his longtime childhood friend. I can tell you this right now, loyalty is a big thing. There are people who have your back and will always have your back through good and bad times. Sometimes you may have doubts about it, but if they're there for you when you have bad times, then trust me, I have had it. I may have it down the road. I hope not. But if I do, I know who I can turn to. They'll get me out of this any mess I'm in. And those are the kind of people that you want as your friends for life. Those are your rocks. Those are the ones you have to be loyal to. And those are the ones that will be loyal back to you. Keep them. And trust me when I say this, loyalty will be rewarded. No if, ands, or buts. If these two, whoops, let me, my, if these two right here can remain loyal for all of their lives and stick by each other, you got a whole lot of friends that can do that for you as well. Have yourself a great week. Follow me on Twitter and on Facebook at JJ Gatto Speaks. Have yourself a good Monday, and I will see you this coming Sunday, I promise you, on Valentine's Day, another blog coming up this Sunday. I'll see you next week.